<laughs> that was footage from last night of me doing Val's punishment. I couldn't literally dunk my head into any liquid besides water because that would have been a huge waste. So with permission from my stepmother to use a glass of orange juice, I had my sister pour it over my head. I know the footage really isn't that exciting, but I can assure you that it was unpleasant. It kind of felt like I could taste the orange juice through my skin, which I know really isn't possible, but that's what it felt like. Simon asked how we celebrated Valentine's Day. The Friday before Valentine's Day, I got a few Valentine gift things. From my English teacher, I got some candy because I sold chocolate bars for the benefit of the sophomore class. Also in the morning, I got this flower. It used to be alive, but it's really stupid because they give it to you in the morning as if you have a vase with you and you'll be able to carry it around somewhere. It was a lot prettier when it was alive, but I decided after it died I was going to press it into this book. And that's why it's flat. It looks better when it's on the book, like this. See? It's so pretty. I don't actually know who this is from though. All it says on it is, will you be my valentine? So I don't know if somebody's like pulling my leg or if... I don't know. I would say thank you, but I don't know who say thank you to. Then Val got me this, which is adorable. Thank you again, Val. And then I got this from this girl named Julia, who I only became friends with this year. And this made me feel really happy because I didn't actually expect her to get me anything, and it made me happy that she considers me to be her friend. Earlier in the day of Valentine's Day, when I was still at my father's house, he got me and my sister these lemon drop things, and then he got us a new version of Bean Boozled. This is actually an older version. In case you don't know what it is, it's a bunch of jelly beans that look the same but taste completely different. So it's a risk when you eat them. One of them might taste like peach, but the other one might taste like vomit, even though it looks exactly the same. And vomit especially, you don't want to risk eating one of those. It's disgusting. So with my dad and my sister, we were cutting them open and smelling them before we ate them. But the smell alone can make you almost want to throw up. I really wonder who comes up with these things. Then I went to my mom's and we had this lovely dinner of chicken, potatoes, and naan. Then she also made cake that was delicious. And she bought us special chocolates and candies from this specialty chocolate place. So I'm filming this at 10.09 in the morning. I usually wouldn't do this because usually I'd be at school. But I'm not at school because it's President's Week. Yay! But I also probably wouldn't make a video this early in the morning because I would procrastinate. But I don't have time to procrastinate today because my mom is coming soon to pick me up so I can pack for my trip tomorrow. She's also gonna let me return all the bottles we have at our house, and she says I can keep all the money we get. So that's very generous and nice of her. I'm really excited for my trip tomorrow because my mom says it's beautiful at Quebec, and we're gonna be going in a sugar house and dog sledding, and it just sounds wonderful. So I suppose that's what I'll tell you about next week. And maybe I'll show some pictures too since I'm taking my fancy smancy camera. But for now, bye!